Our experiment is about the effect of heat on the texture of different green vegetables. This experiment is based on the fact that green vegetables have cell wall and cell membranes that can be broken by certain force. In this case, when different amounts of heat are given to the water, water molecules absorb the thermal energy and therefore the molecules move in different vigorous levels, thereby breaking the cell wall and membrane that maintains the cell structure. Thus, the broken cell wall and membrane will cause a change in the texture. We came up with the hypothesis that heat will cause changes in the texture of green vegetables. The more heat, the more obvious changes in texture. The effect of that varies between different types of green vegetables. As our independent variable, we have the different levels of heat given to each trial. 50 degrees in trial 1, 60 degrees in trial 2, 70 degrees in trial 3, 80 degrees in trial 4, 90 degrees in trial 5. As our dependent variable, we have the textures of the vegetables. To observe how broken the cell wall and cell membranes are, we will use the microscope. Our control variables are the heating time, which is 10 minutes, and the amount of water, which is 30 milliliters for all. For this experiment, we used five different green types of green vegetables. 30 grams of broccoli, 30 grams of zucchini, 30 grams of cabbage, 30 grams of lettuce, and 20 grams of parsley. So here's the procedure. Step 1. Select a green vegetable. Step 2. Choose five beakers and label them as a abbreviative name of the selecting vegetable number of child, trail. For example, brock 1, brock 2, brock 3, brock 4, brock 5 for broccoli. Step 3. Cut five pieces of the leaves of the vegetable before heating and put them on slides under the microscope. Step 4. Use knives to cut the leaves of the vegetable into five 30 gram pieces and put them in five beakers. Step 5. Pour 300 milliliters of water into every beaker. Step 6. Turn on the heaters to different power levels and when the temperature reaches 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90 Celsius, put the numbers 1 to 5 beakers in their corresponding heaters. Step 7. After 10 minutes, turn off all heaters and take all the beakers out immediately. Step 8. Use tweezers to pick up one small piece of vegetable from each beaker. Step 9. Place five pieces after heating on different slides and place the slides under the microscope. Step 10. Observe the changes in cell wall and cell membrane. Record changes. The last step is repeat step 1 to 10 for the remaining vegetables. During this experiment, we observed the different green vegetables through the microscope before and after exposing them to heat. First, we observed broccoli, then lettuce, zucchini, parsley, and lastly, cabbage. According to the observations that we made, heat has an effect on the texture of green vegetables, and such an effect varies depending on the types of vegetables. The most noticeable change happened in the cabbage trial. We noticed that as the temperature increases, the molecules in the cabbage move more vigorously and in different directions, and so, in the microscope pictures, they are more spread out. Thus, we can conclude that the cell structure breaks when exposed to high temperatures. Although the microscope pictures of the, of the other vegetables do not show the same result, in all five vegetables, <clears throat> there is one thing in common. That is the spread out in expansions of molecules. During this experiment, we changed the amount of the parsley from 30 grams to 20 grams. This is due to the limited amount of parsley we got. This affected our data because it changed the relationship between the amount of water and vegetables. Therefore, was less vegetables in the beaker to absorb heat. Thus, the heat was more concentrated. 
A way to improve this error would be to decrease the amount of all other vegetables to 20 grams as well, so that each vegetable has more accurate results. Also, we should be overall more prepared with the materials needed for the experiment. Thank, Thank you for watching!